Hi, good day guys, welcome back to PJs. Today I want to speak to you about the issue of uh, vibration, you know, the vibration and shaking while you're driving at about 70 or more kilometers per hour. You know, you just start developing a little shake on your steering wheel like that, which becomes very irritating. So today in this video, I want to look at one or two things that you can check before you go to the extreme to take it to a mechanic. Now, one of the first things that you will do is when you have that shaking or vibration on the steering wheel is you would uh, look at your wheel balancing and uh, wheel balancing as most of you will know is uh, when the uh, fitment centers put the wheel onto a machine and they balance it and they put on these little things which are these weights and um, that makes the wheel sort of run nice and smooth but you know these things can come off I've even heard of um, thieves stealing these little weights off, I think, because they lead. So the thieves, they steal these things off your wheels. So once they take them off your wheels, you don't even know that. And then you just develop this um, vibration and shaking on your steering wheel. So just check if those things are on. If not, take it for wheel balancing to a fitment center to double check if the wheels are balanced. That is both sides. Another issue is when you have vibration or shaking on your steering wheel, it can also be your bolts on your inner CV, which is those over there, you know those bolts over there, there's about six of them on your inner CV. They start working themselves loose over time and um, then they can cause a bit of vibration and um, shaking on your steering wheel. And that is why I always say when you have a vibration on your car, please have it checked out because look this can slowly be working out here and it can be starting to fall out and you don't even know it and all of a sudden you just hear this thing comes loose and it knocks your gearbox broken and I always say get underneath your car look down into these things and see if things are loose you don't need a lot of um, mechanical skills to do that just have a look feel it stick your Allen key uh, um, tool in there and feel how tight it is and you know grab it at the shaft and move it around and feel if it's um, loosened okay and staying on the CV joints another area where you need to check is when you experiencing vibration and shaking is if the hub nut has been tightened enough because sometimes we do CVs and we just tighten the nut down and we think that it's tight enough. But these have to be torqued down to spec, which is 230 Newton meters. So ensure that you tighten this down securely and according to the specs. Right, next thing to check is I'm under the car now and I'm at the front wheel on the inside and the next thing that you need to check always for vibration and um, shaking is your ball joint which is this here which is the part that sits um, between the control arm and the hub so what you need to check there is for damage now in my case here you can see the damage there I was searching for vibration on my car over the weekend and then I came to this ball joint and I seen that it has got a bit of damage to it. The boot has been perished. So that is also something that you need to check. So I'm going to replace this ball, ball joint soon. But that is also a culprit for vibration and um, shaking. So I have yours checked out too, both sides. And let me just add, it doesn't mean that if the ball joint looks fine that the ball joint is fine there is a way that you can test it and um, normally you can just take it to a fitment center and they got a way to test it you know they jack up the car and they will go through a process and actually see if the ball joint is um, faulty or if it's got play in it so do that you know it's some uh, fitment 
places uh, don't charge you for it some charge a small fee but I mean it's worthwhile having your whole suspension checked for a small fee now after you've checked the ball joint just move a little bit up and you'll come to another part here which is called your tie rod end that is a similar looking component as to the uh, ball joint and it also has a boot here and you need to check there if this thing is perished or worn they sort of wear out the same way as a ball joint would so when this wears out when the boot is, is, is torn or punctured then you will also get play in this joint here and that can also cause um, vibration because that's attached to your steering rack as you can see there that's your rack in there and this is your your tie rod in so check on those things too. and then also there are other things that can also cause these vibrations and sounds that you may get coming through to the steering wheel and that is your engine mounts in the engine you will find your engine mounts over here one here just below the battery another one you will find here by the cam belt sitting down here and then you will find another one down here in the middle and pointing to that and then of course there's another one under the gearbox okay there you got a nice view of the engine mount that attaches to the gearbox underneath the car it's a squeeze type of um, rubber setup but as I say those things can be checked at the fitment center you know because they have the proper tools and things okay so there you go guys there's a few tips for you just to go and see if you can solve your vibration and shaking on your steering wheel and uh, thanks once again for watching and um, please do subscribe and share and comment if you like